YouTube says we're live. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. 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 I'll wait for some people to, to say they can hear me. And you as well. So let us know. I see it on my you. screen now, so. Cool. Right. <clears throat> Just wait for a few more. It's a lot easier when people actually say they can hear us instead of us just guessing. Is the audio coming through all right on your side, Dan? Absolutely fine for me. Cool. All right, well, we shall proceed. Um, yeah, welcome everyone to another live stream with <clears throat> myself and Dan. We will, hello, hello Kuse, Rubio, uh, Sebastian, both Sebastians, um, although I, I always cool. feel like I want to say Seb Sebastian. Sebastian, yeah. yeah, that's what I do in my head when I read his name. Yeah, because <laughs> of the double O. Hello everyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, welcome to another stream, Dan's joining me, I did a stream the other day on my own, but Dan's here today. Um, we're going to be working on another PR for Filament. Um, Dan, do you want to explain what the PR is? Yeah. Um, so actions in Filament are kind of like buttons um, that you can put on the like a table or the top of a page. Um, and at the moment, you have to put them like horizontally next to each other. Um, but today, we're going to try and extract them into a drop down and basically give you the ability to group actions together um so that you don't have to have like a long list of actions at the end of a row or something yeah yeah i know quite a few times i've had tables that have got like four horizontal actions and then some of them want to be buttons some of them want to be links but we can collapse yeah. that into a single <clears throat> sort of like actions drop down like you might have in regular data tables that'd be pretty cool and also we don't want to just um collapse every action into just one drop down maybe you want to group them into different drop downs with like destructive actions or um other actions and have control over that yeah cool um so we've got a bit of a mental plan already uh of what we're going to do so I think we'll start by creating the sort of action group class that's going to wrap all of those sub actions, um, move on to doing some blade work to make it look nice. Um, and then actually getting the actions in the drop down to execute, I think. Uh huh. Cool. I think that we can, we can start off by like copying what we did for the relation group, which is quite a recent thing. Yeah. Um, just basically the same syntax with a label and um, an array of actions. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, let's start with that. Um, I've got a fresh branch. So, uh, do we want to start in the tables package? Or... Um, I, I think we should start in the support package and have a like a main action group class that we can extend in both the pay uh, the uh, admin and tables sounds good to me so maybe actions action group yep uh cool so namespace just checking are you in the um a branch off of the actions pr yes i am yeah okay cool uh, so i have an action group class yeah, let's take a look at that relation group. Pretty simple, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, just straight up copy that, I guess. Um, rename. I'm going to have to turn my mouse off and back on again. It does this weird thing. It just, the scroll randomly stops working. Mm. So like some window permanently gets hold of the scroll and... Yeah. Give it back. 
Uh, yeah, so let's just rename managers to actions. Get rid of the owner record. Uh, just do get actions and then uh, yep. return everything. Return this actions like so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yep, that's about it. I think. Uh, I suppose does this does this need to be a blade component? Yeah, so you can. I've actually extracted like the blade components into a separate component class in the support package. I think it's like support components component. I think or view component actually. Yeah. So view component has like the evaluation stuff can be configured. Macroable, tappable, and stuff. Stuff that normal blade components don't have that we have everywhere. So, cool. We yeah, just extend that. Right. Yeah. Um, you might want to check check the action uh, class as well. Just double check if we do anything else with, or actually base action could be base action more useful. Yeah. yeah. Do we need anything like the view, or view identifier, evaluation identifier? We need that. So change those to group instead of action. And the evaluation identifier for people who don't know is the parameter that this group object is available in when you use a closure anywhere. Um, and the view identifier is the variable in the action group view where you can access the action group object <clears throat> because normally this like this variable is the current live wire component and not the current uh, action group yeah cool uh sebastian says did you add the docs for the headers in a table oh no we spoke about this the other day didn't we on stream um i don't think we documented header actions that. Header actions. Yeah, we need to document those still. Yeah, probably. Um, and Sean, 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 I'll say Sean. Sean um, says hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, so we've done that. Uh, we're gonna need to. I think a... what we can do is we can actually um, keep the views inside the support package. Because the action group for, oh, actually, that might work actually. Because we I mean, is the drop, we've got is the drop, the drop down. down. Yeah, the drop down's there. The only problem we're going to have is we need to be using the dark mode configuration from each package. Um, so potentially we need to still have a view for the admin and tables package, where we pass in the dark mode. Okay. Trying to think where we do this. If you go onto the um, admin package for me and go into the button view, because we can do the same thing. Yep. Um, you see how we pass in the inherited attributes and the dark mode. We just do that. We'll just do the same thing, but for the group. So we have like a base view and then pass in what we need. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll put this into uh, actions and then group dot blade. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. And that needs to go in the prop as well, right? Um, we fill them in support actions group. No, 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 no. We'll just do that on the uh, extended classes. So, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, so we might as well make those now as well, then, so that we can actually output yeah. something to the page. I'll, I'll... Just do, just do table for now. Yeah, table. Just do the table version. So that will be action group. Use the base one. Yeah, and then the view uh, action. 
connections group filament tables no it's just it's just tables column column yeah okay uh uh, inside that we can call the yeah that's it. X uh, filament support. It is like that right? Uh, hyphen. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, actions group, and then slot. Although, do, do we even need a slot? um because the, the actual like parent view is gonna handle the label and everything isn't it can you check the button uh the button action view in the tables package all right yeah uh, let's let's check how we do it there okay so we pass okay, the so label through okay yes yeah, so we'll just pass pass through the, the actions then um, pass through the actions. Yeah, so just get get actions. All oh, right. Yeah, you're, you're, what you're saying, like here. No, no, in the slot probably, because the action group is going to be the drop down component. Um, yeah. Right. This is something we're going to have to think about, though. Um. We're gonna to have to have a different type, like a different modifier for actions that are grouped potentially. So they renders a drop down item and not a uh button or a link or an icon button. Yes, well so my thought was because they're they're all gonna look like drop down links. Yeah. So in, instead of doing that in the Oh right, okay. So instead of rendering them out individually we pass all everything through well we, we'll just do it like this like, so because i've played right. around with this before a little bit so then okay. this would be um drop down item no. i think it's drop down dot item isn't it yeah yeah um yeah and then like the the wire click action on this would be run action or you know whatever the method is does that make sense it does but there are different ways of running the action like a different wire click for each type for each package yeah so then that can so just be a prop of... right okay so then it's going to be like um can know. you pass through wire click as a prop or i guess we can just do an attributes attribute bag get it from there yeah potentially yeah like um is it wire click okay what happens if someone wants to customize the view for a drop down item uh for one action well they wouldn't be able to it, so potentially we should just yeah, but potentially we should just do a, a grouped action view for uh, actions and then just keep everything like encapsulated within that view for that action. And we just do a for each and render the actions. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Otherwise, we're going to be stuck with the fact that um, everything controlled by this one view instead of individually. Yeah, no, that's fair. So uh, I think like we can do... Just map it and pass... Yeah, I would just do an array map here instead of a collect because we're only doing one. Oh, but then all the uh, you get that nasty is it callback or array first? You know, like array filters. <laughs> you pass the yeah. array first. And well, then I, I always check the um, PHP sometimes which, which one it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, so then, yeah, we would do like. Um, Grouped or something. Yeah, group gen, and then that, that can just internally change the view. Sure. 
All right. So then, uh, in the source package, in the support package, not the source package, that like can be grouped. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, can't type. Yeah, it can be grouped. And we can pass this onto the action class because every type of action can be grouped. Um, oh, apart from form component actions. Yes. Mm. Okay, so maybe instead we we just we'll just stick it on the table action, yeah, class and the admin panel pages action class. Yeah, but keep keep the con the concern in here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we return this, and then we'll set the view to something like. Um, I mean, we can. I think technically this should be on the because the each. The table package and the admin panel package, you can have different drop down item views because each will have their own dark modes. Yep. Um, so I would say maybe just keep the grouped on the main class. So the action class. This one. Yeah, so instead of in a trait. Because that's that's gonna be the only method in that trait, I think. Yeah, well, fair enough. And we, yeah. I'm pretty sure we already do that for like the button, icon button, link styling stuff, so Yeah. All right. Uh we can do that. Uh, yeah. That's just like this. Sure. So this will be uh no, no, no on the um tables package, not the Oh right, package. so you mean in every each individual, yeah, because I mean, it's a yeah. view, yeah, because I have separate views, yeah. Um, action, anyone speak Spanish here? No, <laughs> we're a tiny amount, but I wouldn't embarrass myself, yeah, we're doing we're that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're too ignorant to learn another language. We are, we're blinded by multiculturalism and, yeah, exactly, not, not speaking other languages apart from our own. <laughs> Uh, right, we're not speaking them well. There we go. Okay, next to those, then just do grouped. Let's do this. Uh, so then this will be tables, actions, dot groups, action. Perfect. Uh, let's just put this uh, actions, groups, action. So you can check the button action actually and just uh, see what we do there. So we pass this through to an action and then pass the component that we use. I think this just prepares all of the attributes like size and everything. So yeah. that's kind of irrelevant yeah. with a uh, drop down item though. Yeah, but we want to pass in the like the color and the icon and the icon position and stuff, so it's are best gonna, to... Are we gonna support colours in, in the drop down items? Yeah, the the drop down item already does that, so yeah. Okay. Because say if you had like a delete button, then it should be red, I guess. Yeah, or the icon good, should yeah. be red. Probably just gonna, um, in my head it looks a bit weird, but yeah. Yeah, I mean we can get rid of icon position and outlined. We won't use that, but um, yeah, okay. Um, just copy that through. So X. Uh, I mean, I'll just copy it from button action. Save yourself some time. Yeah. And then we tables drop down dot item. And change the class name. Just double check, yeah, drop down item. Uh, Groups action. Sweet. Cool. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start with tables. Just double check the action group. So we're mapping to groups. That's, that's mm. going to be moaned about because that class doesn't have a grouped method. Let's create a contract, can be grouped, or... Or we make it abstract. What would be abstract? The method. 
put it ab abstract on the base action class and then every class that but not every not every action could be grouped so okay, technically yeah. that'd be incorrect right so I just do a contract yeah, easier to type it out. Root and return static. Yeah. Um what we PHP, I was going to say, we could, could have used an intersection type here to say it can be grouped and it has to be an action. That's yeah, PHP but it's PHP open one. one. Yeah. yeah. Sucks. We can probably stick that on a one line action, though. Yeah. Uh, hello, Devcast. How are you doing? Oh, can be grouped, and then I'll implement that on action. Can yep. Be grouped. Cool. Um, let's just let's add this to a resource quickly. Um, what am I looking at? Products. Go to one of the simple resources and do those because they have three actions or two actions. So categories, I think, for it's categories one. blog post, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Right. Uh, so category resource. Uh, you'll want to go into the list page, I think. I could just overwrite here, can I? Yeah, I guess you can. And also, we can use the new action classes now. Yes. Uh, I mean, they won't 100% work, but we're only doing the rendering part. So. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just call this actions. And then. Is it edit action? Yeah. Oh, there's no name. You just do edit action, make. And then delete action. Maybe do a view action as well. View action. So we have our first error. Um, yeah, this okay, is expected, cool. right? That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so we just want to basically extract it out, don't we? Into a. So the cache table actions. Yeah, what uh, has actions? Let's think about this actually. So when we're looping through the actions to render them, potentially we still want to see the groups. So we want to first check in the map if it's an action group or an action. Um, yeah. Um. What so if uh, if action instance of action group? Yep. Then, uh, then action get actions. Oh uh, yeah, and map those and yeah. pass the table in. I might. I've got. I've got a feeling that a. Uh, A map here is going to be slower than a full reach. So, table uh, this get cached. Get cached table. Yep. And then just return the. Hmm. So, yeah, so this is where it gets tough. It's almost like action group needs to be an action type itself. Hmm. No, because 
we still need to be able to check if it can group actions because I made you loop through those actions. Um, so why don't we map, flatten, and then map with keys. Right. Map, flatten, and then map with keys. So we map, if we encounter an action group, then we return an array of all the actions, and then we flatten. Yeah, the problem is we need we need the structure of having the actions within the group, because when we render the actions at the end of the table row, we use get cache table actions, and if we just render them and flatten them, then we won't get the group. Yeah, you're right. Um, well, that's fine then. Because yeah, we just have to return the group within the array. Yeah. But what name do we give it? We just we just don't give it a name. Get a label. Yeah. I don't, know, sure. I don't see there's any reason why we can't do get label. Yeah. All right, so that gets us past the first hurdle. Um. So then in there we... actually let's let's not do the label let's just do like the index of the array so do map with keys and then index right. yeah um just to be just to be safe yeah right. cool all right so then in action cell just need to check if it's a Instance of action group, right? If action record hidden, yeah. And if it is an if it is an instance of action group, we still render it. We just don't do the check. Actually, we can just do the check there. So we can just do um, if action instance of action group, or if it's not hidden. Potentially, do we still want to check if an action group is hidden? Yes, right. Yeah, that's a good point. So we should do if action instance of action group and action is not hidden or it's not an action well, group. Well, we don't even have that logic in here, do we? Just, yeah, just stick can be hidden. Uh, use can be hidden. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if action is instance of action group. Yeah, but then we don't have the record method either. I mean, this this looks really janky, but like if if it's not an instance. Um, Let's do this in a H at PHP um, directive, and then just if it's if it's not an instance of action group, then pass through record and then do an is in. Oh, yeah, my keyboard is all over the place. <laughs> uh, yeah, if action instance of uh, filament tables action action group. Like that. Yep. And then we can just say if action isn't hidden. Still getting that same error. Hmm. Action is an instance of action. Oh. Actions. Wait. Okay. Yeah, and we're not we're not outputting anything yet, so no. Um, you might want to now go into the has actions trait of the table package. Yep. So, if you go down a bit, uh, further down, further down. Um, do you know what the method's called? I think it's probably get action or ha and has action. 
I think that's two. Get cash table action, that'll do, yeah. Um, so here we're checking if there's an action with that name. Mm -hmm. But we also want to loop through all the groups. <clears throat> so first off, we want to do a that, which is fine, and then do an, another null coalescing and somehow do like some array search to find the action within groups. And then another null coalescing to null on line 189. Do you know what I mean? Um, so we first want to check if it's an if the name is an index of the cache table actions, right? Then we want to check if any of the action groups have the action within it, and then we want to return null. Right. Okay. Yeah. So in this case, yeah. it would be if uh, if action and uh, action is an instance of action group. No, because action groups don't have a name on their array key. The, so we that, want to do that like... An, that would be an index though, wouldn't it? So be an yeah, index. but no, because with the... So if we have like an edit action within an action group, the, the, the name is going to be edit, not the action group name. So it's going to be like it's going to return the name of an yeah, right. of an action within its group, right? So yeah, just do a separate like yeah. So we want to do like a another no coalescing on that um, first line. Right. So if if the action exists, we know it's a key a return one. Yeah. So just do another no coalescing double. Yeah. Um, like here. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then check if it's in a. So if I think we probably need to extract this to a different part because it could be messy. Yeah. Or... Let's do this on the next one. If action is null, and yeah, then okay, check yeah. the. If action is null. Uh, hey, Shuvro, how you doing? Hey, hi. Um, we should save the get cache table actions into another variable. Yep, cache table actions is good. Or just actions, I'll do. Uh, actions, if action is null, then we want to loop over each. Action, so if it's a group. Or first filter, so just do collect. Just do a collect, probably. Collect actions, filter, or oh, there's a where instance of, isn't there? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. There is. Uh, yeah, collect actions, where instance of, and then... And then... Flatten. Potentially. Um, can we flatten with the closure so we can get the actions? No, it's depth. You, you'd need to map. So Oh, this is one thing. So on the action group class, we should map the actions with their names into the array. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do a collect here then. Yeah. Yeah. This actions mapped with keys. Yeah, that's kind of where it gets annoying because now the action oh there's a has name isn't there oh but we can't use intersection types do just do action uh or can be grouped that'll work for now anyway can be grouped yeah and then that'll be action get name Uh, and just do a two array on that as well. Yeah. yeah. I actually don't mind leaving those sort of chains as one liners. No, me either. I would normally add an array as the return type of that closure, though. Because yeah. since Laravel's putting all of the um, types into the oh, collection, right, the PHP still works with the helpful. generics. It does, yeah. That is nice. 
and I mean, also um, the... PHP stand as well, does it as well. So. Yeah, yeah, and PHP stand, yeah. <clears throat> I was going to say, after the um, new redesign that they've done, like, I'm very mm. close to trying it out again. It looks very minimal. On M1, it's 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 quick. Well, I was interested it's in Fleet fast. as well, because Fleet looked pretty I good. mean, yeah, and it's got PHP support now. Yeah, it has the the, um, I don't think they've updated the website to say they've got PHP support. No. Which is weird, because I think that PHP Storm is one of the more popular ideas, right? Yeah, like IntelliJ idea or whatever it is for Java devs, and then... Right, yeah. Um, and there's PyCharm, and I don't think WebStorm shoots that much. C-Line as well? I don't know what that one is. Is uh, that C? C, C++, and yeah. I think there's a Rust extension as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so map the group to the actions. And then flatten it. Get actions. Flatten. You might want to do an, an array return on the closure. Yep. Uh, flatten and then we can do it like that. Yeah. Sure. That works. Uh, although we are chaining, so I think I'll, I'll do a get instead. Get name. I think that works. Yeah. Let's uh, let's quickly render out the, the actions. Uh, yeah. Actions. This will be in the support package. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So, I mean, this can just be action, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Um, there is no drop down container blade component yet. There is one for bulk actions. We use it and we use it for something else. So, it could be worth extracting it. I mean, I can just look where we use drop down item, right? Block picker, yeah. Yeah, copy that one with the URL and the div. That'll work. Yeah. Stick an extra on it though as well. Um, and then. Back on the block picker. Yeah, we want the div as well. Like that. That and stick an X-Data X -data as well on there. It's open. Yeah, it is open. And that's probably um, the dark mode as well. Um, Wait, is this in the... This is going to be a prop, isn't it? Yeah. Dark mode. Default false. false. Dark mode. And then And we want to change the class filament forms builder. It should be like filament table. actions. Oh no, this is in the support oh, package. Support, so. yeah. Filament Actions Action group or something, potentially. Yeah. Drop down. Yeah, sure. I feel like fixed width is gonna be a problem. I don't think it will be as much of a problem as you think. Uh, where is this coming from? Feels like the actions don't have the table passed. Where do we pass the table in? That's in the get a cache table actions, right? Yeah. So, cache table actions. is that working properly? Grouped action. Table. Has LifeWire, does it? LifeWire. Yeah. Can you DD the group? Uh, what, in here? Outside the outside the forage behind uh, after it. 
Yep, action. Just check if all of the action objects have the table. Table, oh. table, table. Interesting. Um, well, this is talking about page actions, isn't it, in the error? Yeah. Hmm. We haven't touched page actions, right? Uh, get label. What changes have we made? Uh, um, have we made any in the admin panel? Nope. Let me double check that I'm using tables, 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 tables. Double check that. So, so those few action, edit action, delete action, stuff in table, right? Yeah, that's tables. That's tables. And that's also tables. Hmm. Maybe just try. Um... Try and see hmm. where this is. Just try and. Oh, wait, page action. Why is that running? So we go here, we output the action. But it looks like the page, the page action is being, being grouped for some reason. Can you go in the page action view where they get labelers and see which action is i just dd the action in there yeah um is create action create yeah hmm. so let's just have a look at the changes Tables, still tables. We change anything on the base action class. That is what we're looking at. It doesn't look like it. Let's just have a look at the stack trace of the error, see where it's running. Um, list records, and then we get to index, action cell. It gets down to the group, which then and the group renders the ah oh, this ah oh, of course live wire <laughs> <laughs> we we literally <laughs> spoke about that yeah. at the very beginning there we go uh, undefined variable get actions that is because it needs to be passed through. Yep. For each actions as action. And then in here, just do this for now. We should pass in the dark mode, I guess, in that group as well. Yep. Dark mode. Do you go for variable? Case I do. Yeah. I I don't do I don't do camel case on on yeah. attributes. I do I do a dash hmm. kebab case for dark mode. Yeah, it's more HTML-y, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, so. 
argument number one must be of type model null given right because we're not passing the record to the group so the action of course yeah okay instead of doing the create delete um uh, view actions pre-built just do your own actions just do custom ones uh, category resource yeah we, we can come back to that yeah i was going to speak to you about that actually i don't think we're going to have them in the stubs um i don't know how we're going to do it but yeah oh, that's fair enough. um yeah let's just make a fake view dd view maybe we give it an icon yeah as well like iconic um O pencil an iconic o i iconic oh not iconic <laughs> i deal with that at work all day um for icons yeah and then that one's trash i think delete yeah and a danger uh, danger color as well <laughs> yes dennis there is a new action classes there well there was until they broke We can we can figure that out though. It makes sense that the the actions yeah. need the record. Yeah, uh, and the uh, form and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to pass it in yet. Um, just do a I, I think is one. Yeah. Okay. Still no view being rendered. Well, we know it's being mm. rendered. There's just nothing being output. Um. Um. Is it? Oh, in the the group where is open and false. There's no button to. <laughs> There's no trigger, right? Yeah. Um. We have a trigger view somewhere, don't we? I mean, it's just an icon button, right? Yeah. Actually, we're gonna have to support different types of triggers, aren't we? That will undoubtedly be an, an, a, a question. I, How do I, I render I a, a I think, button? I'd, if it was icon me button. personally, I'd be happy forcing it to be a button. What, an icon button? Or or a, just a text button? I don't think text buttons look very good on table rows, though. I don't know. That's how, that's how I've always done... Like back in the day with Bootstrap. Like you'd use a button drop down at the end end of a data table. I feel like icon button fits better with our design by default. But then what what um, icon do you default to for actions? Well, it'll be the the three dots. Horizontal ones? No, vertical ones. Vertical? Okay. Mm. Although isn't that what we use for bulk actions? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Same thing in them. Yeah, all right. So um, this needs to be wrapped in a higher level um, div. I mean, it does that. It just needs to be some sort of um, trigger. I don't know where you put it. I Wait. guess there is a higher action div, yeah, for the yeah, data. For the... Yeah. And I mean, for now, I'll just output a, uh, a button. Uh, a filament support icon button. Yeah. Oh, VS Code doesn't like that because it's not a valid HTML. Pass in the pass in the dark mode as well. Um, and the icon. So that'll be. Let me look it up for you. It's called dots vertical. Dots. And then I'll just say uh, open just for now. So SR only on that. I think we have a label prop for that. Do we? Potentially. Look at the look at the view. I think it is ish bearers slide actually, I think. Uh, yeah, we have a label. Yeah, so just do a slot there then. 
a slot within the icon bar and then pass in the label. Um, no, no, we can, we can just do it like this, can't we? Just use the label prop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do a prop or a slot, I guess. I'll just do. I think I prefer to use slots for like uh, content. Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um. I meant like X slot label. Yeah, yeah. Have you used that new um, slot syntax that Caleb put no, into that? No, I don't like it, personally. I think I would use it if it wasn't level 9. Only. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I, I personally don't like it because, well, in my case, VS Code and my Blade highlighting package doesn't... Um, oh, it doesn't know, right. doesn't like the colons in the name. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Oh, I need the X on click as well to handle the. Uh, awesome. Is open equals not is open. Is it working? I mean. Right, okay, let's design. Uh, we need to align it to the left, right? Um. So this is left Speed. zero. Um, not left zero. Right zero. Right zero. The absolute class, absolute class needs to be right zero. Oh no, actually, potentially it's the UL, right? Uh, no, I think the entire div needs to be right zero. Okay. Uh, you might want to save the um save the RTL guys a job and do LTR uh, RTL left zero yeah I will also run our CSS indeed I'm pretty sure we've got a right zero class somewhere but I'm pretty sure we've got everything yeah, yeah. I mean, it did work right yeah the position is a bit it. jank but Wait, just okay. It's a bit low. Is there a margin at the top? Quite possibly. MT ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, it needs some margin at the top, but I would I would say like MT four two or something. Was four I think we use two on date pickers and selects and stuff. Yeah, two. Um, and right zero is too too much to the right. But I feel like right. it should um, be. What I can do is I can check razor UI. Um, yeah, I've got um, because that's where the drop down comes from. Yeah, I've got that as well. Let me log in. Absolute right zero top auto MT two. Yeah, I've got. Is it the icon button that's got like some margin on it? Potentially, I think it might actually have a negative margin. My uh, negative oh, X margin. I, no, I don't know what it is. I need to set relative on the parent div. Oh. It's positioning relative to the cell at the minute instead of the div. There we go. Okay. So nice. It looks a bit better. And they work? They do not. So. So potentially that's something to do with our logic that loops through the actions yeah. and flattens them. Um, get. What's this, right? So let's mm -hmm. just. Um, DD that and should really use Ray for this, but I've got a feeling the flatten removes the keys. Yeah. Oh right. Um. 
What does flatten even do? It uses a ray flat. Wait, we're not flat. We we're already flattening with the map. Yeah, we flatten with the map anyway, because we're we're returning the group actions. Right. Oh no, we need to merge the. Yeah. Mm. We do, do we need have to flat map. Does it, that maps and then flattens, right? It should. It might still. Collapse. All collapse, right? Try collapse. Um, let's just DD to make sure we still get the keys out. Yeah, there we go. Collapse instead of flan. <laughs> TIL, as they say on Twitter. Yeah. Today <laughs> I did learn. Uh, three dots is the way to go. Yes. I agree. I do now. Although it does kind of like bump the height of the cell up, it feels like. Uh, the row. We can do a negative uh, MY. Uh, just do um, negative MY2, probably, on the icon button. Yeah. I mean, it's probably smart to look at Don't we do the same thing for the icon button action? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll leave it alone. So, view, edit, delete. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that seems to work quite well. Sweet. Um, I think we can optimize the group um, looping through the groups and mapping them and flattening them I think we can just do a for each on the group uh, for each on the action and then if it's an action just return and break the loop yep that is fine so for each because otherwise we're going every we're doing everything aren't we like we're going through every single action yeah um, yeah, so for each actions as action, no, not as action. Um, for each actions as action, if action instance of action group continue. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, we don't want to override action at that point, but it's fine because we're only in here if it's null anyway. Mm. Um, so if not action instance of action group, uh, continue. I was writing Ruby the other day, and oh, yeah, um, oh, you did that yourself. It was it was alright. It was alright. Um, let's not start a war. <laughs> well, most of the people here are going to be PHP devs anyway. Yeah. So I, I was doing some Ruby, and like they have um, like inline or conditional statements, right? So they don't have continue; they have next as the keyword instead of continue. Don't know why. I mean, I think next makes more sense. Yeah, but it's like you can do like next if action. Right, right, right. You can do it in line. I know you can kind that of. That reminds me of um, like a bought if in the framework. Yeah, yeah. So you can do this and stuff. That... This is fine. Yeah. But they, they do it for break, uh, return, yield. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, yeah, for each action as action. If not action, instance of action group, continue. Um, If... For each action, get actions as group action. Um, well, no, we can just do. Um, if action equals, or if group action equals uh, action get actions name, mm -hmm. then. Uh, 
then just action equals grouped action. Yeah. And that needs well, to no. Action equals actions. Get action name. Oh, this is... No, that works. We that need works. To... No, I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. You just double check if um, you can stick a normal action next to an action group. That looks fine. Yep. Sweet. Hello, got like torch to stream, but that's a feature that I was looking for since I started using filament. Nice. Well, here it is. Great work, guys. We are indeed <clears throat> doing great work. <laughs> nice. nice. Thank you. Um, okay, last thing is just moving it all over to pages as well. Yeah. Um, so just check out what you've done for the tables pack and just copy it. Oh, uh, also no. add the should translation we, string. Should we fix the record situation first? What record situation? Let's try. Try DD in the record, right? I've got a feeling this is going to be null. Yeah. Okay, what do we need to do? Well, we can either. We can add a. Where do we normally pass it in? It's in the blade. Has actions, right? Isn't it of the? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Action cell here. I see. And then also in um, those actions, isn't it? Action record this get mounted table action record. Why is that not running there then? Why do we need to do it in two places? Oh, I guess we do need to do it in two places because. When we render it, it still needs access to the action, right? I think we need to pass the record into the group as well as to the actions. So always pass the record. And then within the get actions, we also map it with the ac with the record. Right? Um, yeah, so then... We need a record method on here. So action, mm, yeah. Is there not a has a interacts with record? There is. Okay. And then down. Yeah, that'll just be uh, record. Mm -hmm. This get record. I don't know why my autocomplete has given up on me there. Yeah. What type is action? Is that a uh... Because not oh, all actions. A, yeah, it's a support action. Okay, so now I'll do um, action can be grouped has action. Has yeah. action. Oh, it has record. Sorry. It'll be the yeah. Because um. of collision with what? Interacts with record pass authorization arguments has not been applied as because of collision with can be hidden pass authorization arguments. Can you check both? My bet. So authorization is a new thing that I did when refactoring the actions, right? So instead of being able to just use visible and hidden. You can now do authorize and pass in the name of a 
um, policy method. Okay. So you can do like create action, authorize, yeah, there we go. edit. Authorization. Okay. Um, Pass authorization arguments, return arguments. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's fine What's then. The, uh, uh, let's uh, it's the syntax we need to use for excluding a trait yeah, method. I, I can't remember. Exclude. I rarely use this. So. Um, where are we? Conflict resolution. Yeah, there we go. It's like that, isn't it? So Can you just double check if the um, can be hidden is not on the base class? Oh, no, it's view component. Yeah. Ignore me. Um, okay. So then, like that. How does that work? Actually, no, you have to do it on the can be hidden. So it'll be like a, yeah. And then just do like, pass authorization arguments as useless arguments. <laughs> no, we can do... Uh... Or does that only work if you comment them? Right, uh, pass authorization arguments. Oh, what does that do? Usually you don't have to have the class name, yeah. As pass default authorization arguments or something. That is not the syntax, is it? Uh, Renaming. Yeah, I think it is. I think you just need a um, semicolon at the end. I think that's it. Also, get rid of the semicolon after the. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Try that. Semicolons everywhere. An alias was defined for method which exists in both use. All oh, right, I need to specify the. That's why. It... That's why I was trying. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the VS code. Yeah. Um, can be. It's not. Not often we say that though. Just do it like that, right? I don't need the fully qualified namespace. No, I do need the fully qualified namespace. Surely not. Trait method pass authorization arguments has not been applied as that because of collision with that. But I've changed the name of the import. One, you import both as pass record authorization arguments and then merge them in the class. Do you know what I mean? Let me just see if this works. Um... No, how was it? Pass. I can tell how rarely I have to do this stuff. <laughs> There's this one blog post that I always end up landing on when I have to do this. Yeah. Can't remember it's by though. I think it might be bookmarked actually. Instance of interacts with record. Hey Kevin. I want to do interacts with. Right, my autocomplete just conked out now completely. That was it instead of can be. really <laughs> apparently, apparently, so oh, I didn't specify the method name. I think this can be another TIL. Could not find. Oh no, it wants me to do it relative. Today I learned that PHP has <laughs> a, an instead of <laughs> keyword. Wow. Great. All right, fair enough. Right, it's the record passed. Fair That's the question. enough. No. 
It is not. And the reason it's not is because in the... Oh, we never pass it, do we? In here. Wait. So now we can restore that. There we go. Awesome. Cool. All right. Let me, uh, let me. Oh, while we're here, actually, let's also do this um, in group. Let's take an icon. Mm. And then use the can icon, uh, has icon trait on the group. Yeah. Icon. Use has icon um, potentially pass it through from the tables action group view. Yeah, which is the let's tighten this up a bit. We can use a one line. Uh, we don't need to close and tag right. Yep. All right. That should still work. Full component icon. Group. Hmm. I forgot to bind it. Oh. All right, so there's that, and then technically I should be able to do uh, icon uh, phone. Yeah, although there's no margin the top on it, it's touching the bottom. It has to do with the icon. No, it touches it there as well. Did I remove? Oh, yeah, okay. This needs uh, MT4 because the icon's now got minus MY2. So it's, it's mm. pulling it up two units. Fair. Yeah, that looks all right to me. Uh, do the translation string quickly. Yeah. Um, create a new group file in the actions directory. Uh, support. Support resources. Is this is something we refactored. Actions. Group. Probably call it trigger label. Trigger label. Or, or maybe trigger and then the inside its label. Because then we can have trigger tooltip and whatever if he wants to yeah okay actually a tooltip isn't that, that bad an idea I love to have tooltips and stuff icon button already has tooltip support doesn't it yeah so we just have to pass it through like the icon alright and what I'll just do tooltip here um yeah I guess yeah. and then we should maybe use the has the uh, has tooltip trait on the group. All right, and then in the um, that'll have to be passed down as well, won't it? From Just make this a little bit more readable. Tool tip equals tool tip. Um, Filament support actions okay. um, group. Yep. Actions group. No, it's slash. It's slash action. Uh, colon colon actions slash group. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
dot trigger dot label trigger oh, dot, dot no tool tip. tool tip and then should we trading comma on that props as well oh yeah change this to Uh, label. Yeah, well, I was going to say, surely this should actually just use a label prop. Yeah, shouldn't it? Because we, we yeah, we we label. have yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So then, in which case, we shouldn't use the trigger. Oh, I guess that should be the default, right? Yeah. 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 So then that will be label. In which case, I think that the first parameter of the action group make should be the actions. And then have the labels like a chain. Choose use the has label um, trait, I think. Oh, I'll make it nullable then. As label that's gonna conflict, isn't it? Maybe um don't have the label in the make. Because it I think it would look odd with the label second anyway, yeah, after an array. Um, Compared to the uh, relation manager as well. Yeah. I mean, the relation manager always has to, has to have a label, doesn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We can get rid of that as well. Um, and then in here, we'll do label is get label, tooltip is get tooltip. Double check that. I think we should potentially, because the label is only going to be used for screen readers, I think we should use it for the tooltip as well. So I think instead of having the tooltip method and the trait, just pass the label as the tooltip, or the tooltip as the label. Um, I, mean, I somewhat yeah. agree, although at the same time, you might want a tooltip that has like extra information in, right? You might yeah. want to say like something. This this drop down contains X, Y, and Z. Maybe if the label is on the get label method, we do a um, null coalescing, or on the get tooltip method, we do a null coalescing get label, so that if you set if you set the label, then I'll set the tooltip automatically for you. No, this is in the this is in the action group plus. Yeah, we just do. Yeah. Tool tip, otherwise label. Uh, mm. Yeah, that'll work. Although then we're like always default into having a tool tip. Which some people might not. No, if I not if a label isn't passed. Oh right, yeah, of course, yeah. I mean I think we should do this in the class instead of the view. On the get, although a label is always get. going to be passed because we set a default. I would, I would just say make that nullable. Mm. It... Change. I think the label always needs to be there for screen readers, right? Um, yeah, which it will be. It would always be down here. And then if we set the label, then the tooltip gets set. Right. So on the action group class, we override the get tooltip method, and we do a um, um, 
It's not parent, it's in the trait. <laughs> oh crap, yeah. Yeah. Um do as get base tooltip. Get tooltip as get base tooltip. Twice now we've had to use this. Mm -hmm. Uh so if tooltip equals Just do this, just to return this get base tooltip, no coalescing. Like this yeah that's right cool all right and then i should handle it although get label was expecting get name oh hmm override get label and don't have that but Because this is for actions in it, so it's going to have a name. Yeah, it's also expecting a string, so then... Um, you can just not do null string. No, because then the type is... Not it shouldn't conflict actually. with the trait, though, should it? It's just a trait, it's not the parent class. Of course, yeah. We are in trait land. There we go. All right, so there's no... Uh, no tooltip. This all still works. But then if we set a custom label, then we do have a tooltip, right? And we can set a different label and different tooltip. Perfect. Yeah. And then um, I guess... If someone wanted to disable it, then they could just do an empty string. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of nasty. I mean, if... I think the benefits of having the tooltip automatic is... more... I outweighs them. Mm -hmm. What does chat think? Taught it by default. Yeah, thoughts in the chat. I'm leaning to say no because you repeat it like you just did. Um, if you scroll between actions, it just. Yeah. In which case, just remove the override and. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to put the stream in ultra low latency mode, so chat is like a minute behind. I would say no. No tool tip. No tool tip team. I think no. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So this is one we've got you here. <laughs> right. Um. So where are we? Action group. We can just leave. Get tool tip as is then. Mhm. Mm and I can remove the alias as well. I should still have one because I've forced it on there. But if I remove that, no tool tip. Does the color get passed? If we do a has color on the action group? I'm just trying to think of the other things that we're going to be asked. We can just um, pass the color straight to the icon button. Uh, yeah. Default's primary. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's default secondary, actually. I feel like it should be out of view, like, as a secondary gray. Nice. Very nice. Right, I'm uh, gonna commit this. Uh, initial implementation for action groups in 
tables. Just quickly open a draft PR as well. That needs to. Ah, oh, yeah, this needs to target oh. the. This PR is on another branch on a, on a fork. You should sorry. open a PR to, yeah, the fork. Yeah. That was the wrong way to do it. <clears throat> yeah, although I can't push to the fork. How did you fork it in the first place? Uh, I use the GitHub CLI, so GitHub oh. PR checkout. But I can't push to there. Um, the alternative is we merge this into my branch. Right. Does that work? Yeah, I think if you change the base, of it, like if I open my draft PR now quickly. Uh -huh. I'll do a feature table and page action groups. And then if I, ch yeah, so I've already got all the commits there. All right, so I can just close uh, that. We can just delete that, yeah. Just yeah. close that anyway. Let me just uh, also work in here from, uh, from Dennis. So then I will replaced by yep no no offense Dennis <laughs> <laughs> Dennis still has all of his commits anyway yeah he's still got his commits that's fine yeah and then that can go straight into thingy um, I'll just do a quick rebase as well Renders form component action modal. Hmm. Just there, uh, just dependencies, it'll be all right. But what one is it meant to be? PHP CS fixer will fix it, it's fine. Just include both of them. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> CS fixer is ahead of you. That's why. What's the oh, right. uh, delete action? Can you run PHP stat as well? Yeah. Um, accept that one for now. I'll do, I'll do it after the rebase. Oh, I can accept the incoming. No, I can't uh, accept that. Oh, what does rebasing take this long? <laughs> it's because you don't use a Git UI. That's why. <laughs> I'd have this done in two seconds with a GitHub desktop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but everything Real else is like aliases. Bla blazing fast. Yeah. Oh, can you take that? Can take that. And then do a single build. Dan flexing his Git knowledge. Ah, he uses a Git UI. <laughs> I have zero, zero Git knowledge. Nor do I really. I mean, the, the, the furthest I think I rebase quite often. I introduced that to my team at work as well. Like they, before, they were just like merging master into feature branches to keep it up to date. So then you end up with like loads of merge commits. 
But now we rebase. What's the other one? Cherry picking. I cherry pick quite often. Like if I've um Yeah. I do cherry picking with the UI though. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But normally I, I it just it's I just on... like a a nice like visual overview of what I'm cherry picking into where, you know? Yeah, um, fair enough. I think most of the time I'm like I've got a, a really old feature branch or something on GitHub. And like, I'm gonna completely restart the work. But like actually like yeah. half of the time I've spent setting things up, I can just cherry pick that out of the old branch. So at that point yeah. I've normally got the, the hashes for the commits. Uh, sure assets push whenever I do a rebase it's always followed by a git rebase support <laughs> 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 oh, I was at that once as well don't worry yeah name a more iconic duo yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny What's uh what's another one I use a lot? Um Oh like I I type fairly quickly, right? All right. So uh, quite often I get like spelling mistakes and stuff in my mm -hmm. commits. So then mm -hmm. one that I use a lot is uh get reset head and then like a tilde <laughs> to take you back a commit, rewrite the commit and then force push. And like sometimes right. people are like, Why do you force push so much? I'm like, it's because I can't spell. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I find force pushing one of the most scary things I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It can be like force yeah. push. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can get <clears throat> really lucky. Force push and still have like an old commit hash, and you can sometimes cherry pick that commit hash still. So you, you, you can get lucky with it. But... <clears throat> right. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, PHP stem. I really need to get back on that testing branch. I agree. Oh, I'm losing my voice as well. All this talking. Has anyone else noticed that like PHP stand just stalls? I feel like it does it when it hasn't cached in a while. Yeah, because uh, like if I, you write, if you go this a second run, it should run in like two seconds. Yeah, when when I used to use um, Sarm, mm. uh, call to an undefined method record. Guess has record just says get record. Yeah. Okay. Just get the signature out of the interacts with record. Just double check it's uh, that one. Is that gonna be the same everywhere? Oh, it's only used in one place anyway. Let's just put that into here. Rerun this. Yeah, when I used to use SAM, it used to like there was no stalls. It was it, it was not as fast. Um, going mm. through all of the files, but it was like consistently. Call to an undefined method has record. Right, because the static return type is saying that it returns this, but this doesn't have a method. Has uh, called. We can, we can just remove the return type on the interface, right? Uh, always to me, to me it sucks. It, oh, it stucks. I can't read either. It stucks at like 49% every time for a very long time. Don't know why. Mm. Actually, for the add the static return type back and then put the grouped and record on different lines. Potentially. Um, yeah, that's okay. PHP. That's... Smart. 
yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like so my or even group first and then. Uh, yeah, but then can be grouped returns <clears throat> stack as well. Stack, no. same problem. Okay. Um. Yeah, go on. What are you saying? Like my my work project is quite big. We have like mm. probably near a thousand PHP files. Um, like just in app, like it, it, PHP stand doesn't analyze views or anything. Mm. Um, and that can take like upwards of three minutes to scan. Even with a, even with a it cache. used to be, it used to be quite legacy what you were working on, right? Um, when did you introduce PHP stand? Probably like six months ago. Mm. And at, at that point, what level? Uh, we were on level f- four, I think. Mm. Not very high. I think half, half of our code base is untyped. So, I think filaments at five. Yeah, because five was the the first one before I couldn't use mixed mm. or something. Yeah, yeah. And we use mixed quite a pl- in quite a few places for labels and stuff. Yeah, I'm still I'm still praying that we see some type aliases come to PHP. Mm. Honestly, generics probably more yeah. useful. Yeah, I mean, like type aliases is a super super handy for us, I think. Yeah, because <clears throat> well, then we can do like string closure, null. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you haven't got a, yeah. well, not even that. Like you could um in I'm trying to think of a good good example. Maybe like has name. Or no. Um, fields form fields are a good example I think we have like concerns uh, like can be hidden no components concerns can be hidden where are we oh the bull yeah closure. like these here that could be extra- abstracted into a local type alias it's just transparent like when you hover over it, it would just show you like boolean or closure still. Mm. But internally, you've then got like one uh, single source of truth for that that time. And also, it's just it's just a find and replace job, really. Like, yeah. When you're refactoring stuff to it. Yeah. Mm, that would be good. Yeah. Could you put a type alias above a class, or is it within a class? Um, I'd say top level, yeah. But like in. In Rust, you but can... will they be auto discovered? Well, yeah, there's there's loads of questions. It's like if it's mm-hmm. under a namespace, can you import that type alias in another file from the namespace? I'd say so. But then Rust has um, <clears throat> has local type aliases. I won't I won't get too deep into the Rust side, but like on a um, on a on a interface in in Rust, it's called a trait. You can do like type output and then when you when you implement that interface the interface will type against output but you then specify what output is hmm. so it's, it's sort of like a generic type alias for implementing an interface I like abstract like yeah abstract or abstract yeah, abstract yeah. type aliases yeah. yeah yeah um I can't remember what I was doing <clears throat> I was doing this action record this get record action grouped can actually do that instead action groped <laughs> <That's a bit> <laughs> <angry>. <laughs> um, I can't spell alright I need a filament welfare team for those actions <laughs> yeah. there we go cool hey. PHP um, sound isn't clever Hey. Uh, let's do make PHP stern happy. Oh. Screw the format. It can format it again. That's fine. Cool. Alright. I mean, we've been going for. What, what are we at? 
an hour and 40 minutes. So I'm going to suggest that we stop here. Yeah. I'll end up doing the page ones tonight, I think. Yeah, we can get the page ones. This might make it into the next release. Oh, well, no, actually, no, because we've got all the other <laughs> action stuff here. Yeah. We? yeah. Either way, yeah. it'll be in a filament release very soon. Um, I would like to start using this, and I, I imagine you would at work as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've got some use cases for this. So, yeah. Cool. All right, well, thank you all for um, joining. Cheers, Kevin. Take care. Have a good evening. If you're in, if you're in Florida still, it's probably afternoon. Twenty three watching. That's nice. Nice. Yeah, I reckon we've had a good fifty people or so come in throughout the nearly two hours. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you for coming. Bit of a uh, simpler one to follow tonight, I think, than the uh, the last one we did. <laughs> um, Form component actions. Yeah. yeah, that one took what like two months to to finish and get merged <laughs> and we one were expecting month to do it one month stream. merge yeah. yeah um yeah have a good evening guys good afternoon uh morning if you're on that side of the planet uh yeah see you again soon see you later cheers